In a controversial move, 49 opposition MPs were suspended from Lok Sabha, bringing the total to 141. Opposition criticized the suspension for demanding a statement on December 13 security breach. The government defended the action, citing insults to parliamentary leaders. The INDIA, India Coalition, announced nationwide anti-government protests. Prime Minister Modi accused the opposition of indirectly supporting the security breach and predicted reduced numbers in the 2024 elections. Telangana's KTR and Karnataka's Siddharamaya engaged in a Twitter spat. Siddharamaya accused BRS party of circulating fake edited videos, labeling them BJP's B team. KTR retaliated, blaming Congress for misleading Telangana with unfulfilled promises. Siddharamaya defended his party's track record, accusing the BJP of spreading misleading information and manipulating through fake news. Police raids on Hyderabad city pubs, including intrusive searches for drugs, have sparked outrage over privacy violations and disregard for personal dignity. While supportive of the crackdown on drugs, many criticize the police for raiding guests, enjoying drinks and meals, leading to widespread anger and impacting customer turnup. Concerns are raised about the humiliation caused by such searches and the circulation of raid videos. Pub owners and customers call for a more respectful and effective approach by law enforcement. The police clarify that the videos were not shared by them but taken by private individuals. President Draupadi Murmu encourages Hyderabad students to cultivate compassion and empathy for the progress of others at Hyderabad Public School's centenary celebrations. Commenting on the school's diverse environment, she emphasizes the importance of empowering students as decision makers. Governor Tamilisai Sandarajan praises the school's contributions to producing leaders in various fields. Various events, including a golf tournament and entrepreneurship summit, are part of the ongoing celebrations until December 27th. Traffic advisories are issued for the President's movement in the city. Telangana government's repeated pleas to grant national festival status to the biennial Medha Ram Jatra have been pending with the centre. Despite requests, there has been no official response except for financial assistance during festivities. The upcoming celebration, from February 21 to 24, has sanctioned budget of Rs 75 crores. Panchayat Raj Minister Dansari Anasuya vows to renew the request for national festival status. The resurgence of a new coronavirus variant, JN1 in Kerala, with cases surpassing 1,800, demands caution, testing and genome sequencing. While there is no evidence of increased severity, constant monitoring is crucial. The WHO suggests the variant can be neutralized by serum from infected and vaccinated individuals. Vigilance, tracking and vaccination efforts are vital, especially during the upcoming holiday season. Prime Minister Narendra Modi accuses opposition parties of indirectly supporting the parliament security breach, asserting that their conduct will lead to a reduction in numbers in the 2024 Lok Sabha election. Modi criticizes their disruption of parliament proceedings and emphasizes the government's commitment to India's bright future. The opposition's frustrated response to a recent losses is noted. Pilot program facilitating the renewal of H-1B visas within the U.S., eliminating the need for holders to leave the country, receives approval from the White House. Starting January next year, 20,000 H-1B specialty occupation workers can benefit from the program. Full eligibility details will be revealed upon the publication in the Federal Register. A powerful 6.2 magnitude earthquake in northwest China's Gansu province has claimed at least 127 lives and left over 700 injured. The deadliest quake in the region in nine years is struck in the mountainous area late Monday, causing extensive damage to homes. The rescue efforts are underway and President Xi Jinping has called for an all-out rescue measures to minimize casualties.
In the IPL auction, Mitchell Stark set a record as the most expensive buy in IPL history, securing a bid of Rs 24.75 crores from Kolkata Knight Riders KKR, surpassing Pat Cummins. Cummins received an unprecedented Rs 20.50 crores bid from Sunrisers Hyderabad. The auction also saw significant bids for other fast bowlers including Harshal Patel, Alzari Joseph, Umesh Yadav and Shivam Mavi. Batsman Daryl Mitchell earned Rs 14 crores from Chennai Super Kings, while uncapped player Samir Rizvi was bought by Chennai Super Kings for Rs 8.40 crores. Wicketkeeper batter Mamta's unbeaten 55 led Hyderabad to a four-wicket victory over Tripura in the BCCI Women's Under-23 T20 Trophy, restricting Tripura to 1-1-3 on four. Hyderabad faced an early setback but recovered with Mamta's 50-ball knock, securing the win in 18.1 overs. Opener Pranavi Chandra contributed with a 22-run inning. Director Prashant Verma describes Hanuman as a unique cinematic universe, not a usual movie, and the beginning of an epic adventure. The trailer showcases stunning visuals portraying the story of an ordinary guy gaining superpowers and confronting a formidable supervillain, transforming his life into an extraordinary battle between good and evil. Lead actor Teja Saja expresses pride in being part of this special project.